Good morning world. Today is off-road day number two. It's Wednesday. We're at Red Bull Romaniacs and uh, yesterday was a good day. I managed to shake off the uh, French dude who used me as his GPS throughout almost the whole day at the very end of the race and win by two minutes. So that was good. I have a little bit but it's a uh, it's a five day race so uh, two minutes doesn't mean anything at this stage. So uh, yesterday was a nice, very enjoyable race. I really enjoyed the tracks. They were fun and flowing. Sometimes we had to push a little bit, sometimes it was difficult. But in general, it was just really, really enjoyable and fun. Had some sketchy moments where I, I, I guess I came in too fast and almost um, had some big crashes, but saved them at the last second, two different moments. And um, I rode a little bit with my friend Theodore from Bulgaria that I rode with also at the Golden Mountain and Enduro Panorama. And uh, yeah, just uh, overall a, a fun day and uh, really looking forward to see what today's like. It'll be I think 107 kilometers. And uh, I changed the power setting a little bit on the bike, that screw, you know, down by the water pump, you can screw out. So I did that and it turns out my bike does have the yellow um, spring. I thought it was green, but um, yeah, hopefully I get a little bit more power today because it was a little bit hard to get things done. I'm in the fridge to uh, get my coffee and get some breakfast. So um, that's what's happening right now. I've done my stretching and I'm ready to go. So see you out there. Yep. You're doing a good job with the, the, the video. Thank the you. Vlog, yeah? yeah, it takes quite a... Really? I uh, think you're putting a lot of effort into it. Yeah. No? Good start today, man. I hope you have a good day. Sorry? I hope you have a good day today. Yeah, yeah. Oh. All right, so that was day number two of the Red Bull Romaniacs. And a uh, very similar story to yesterday. So I don't really have much to say other than I got the win by a minute, but only because I think something happened to the French guy in the um, last tank point. And I think he took the wrong gas and he realized that he took the wrong gas and maybe tried to find oil to mix it into it. That's just my theory. But uh, anyways, today was a really fast day. I was at top gear, top speed, multiple times, going as fast as I possibly could, which is super scary because it just takes a blink of an eye before something new pops up and uh, you might not have the chance to pop a wheelie or slow down or, yeah, it's, it's kind of sketchy. Uh, towards the end, a couple of times I tried to leave him and uh, he would just come right back up to me. At one point in the beginning of the race, I thought I gapped him. I thought I, I dropped him. And then all of a sudden I saw riders coming up behind me. And there was a couple of gold, uh, gold riders. One of them was uh, Teo from Bulgaria and uh, Sonny Kagia, Kogia, whatever his name is. I think he's Italian. And uh, then I saw right behind these two guys was my friend's friend's friend. And uh, I thought, fuck. We went back and forth many times. Sometimes he was leading, sometimes I'd be leading. And then, yeah, like I said, towards the end, um, he had an issue maybe. I'm not even sure if he had an issue. I'm just guessing. Maybe he just had a riding mistake, made a riding mistake. And I was charging as much as I can. And we get to this um, section. It's a pretty tricky uphill. And it, I'm going well. I'm, I'm getting, I'm doing all the pivot turns and and uh, at one point <clears throat> I take my chance to cut out and, and skip a, a corner, like a, a set, but some, some huge branch catches my helmet and I'm being ripped off the bike and that's the point where I've been thinking for a while, I just need to go, I need to get to the finish real quick because I knew we were going to do uh, like 107 kilometers today and that was, we'd already passed the second um, or the last tank point I was kind of calculating so I knew this is my chance to gap him and, and get a little bit on him towards the finish line. Uh, at the end, I, I got here to the finish first and I sat there waiting at the finish line, just waiting for him, looking at my watch. And I think I got him by roughly 50 seconds. That's good. It's better than losing 50 seconds because everything counts. So two more days, I think I'm leading by roughly three minutes. 
and uh, yeah you know if you make one big mistake maybe if, like you if you come off the trail or if you get stuck really bad somewhere three minutes is gone with the blink of an eye so it really is nothing anything can still happen and um, yeah we'll just see I guess who's the fittest because I think we have more or less the same level who's who's cooler my new sponsor I wish para alcohol alcohol it means without alcohol so don't worry all right guys that's it for me today I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace out. Your eyes okay? Yeah. They look a little funny. Just a bit of a brown <laughs> On both. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Lucky you. How'd it go today? Did alright really, it was fast, right? You got yeah. No, you took it again? No. Manny got three minutes on the It's fun, isn't it, in the sand? It is. Yeah. yeah. Stuff. It's nice riding it. I'm really enjoying it. How long have you been in here? Nice and fast, <laughs> I got this hot dog. The little doggy's starving. Oh. I'm gonna feed him some pasta. All right, I'm gonna grab some food, Graham. Yeah.